Okay guys, we will proceed with the next one which is properties of Laplace transform. So I hope by now you are able to find the Laplace transform by using table of Laplace transform. If you are still not okay with the first one, so please uh, take a look at the previous video. Okay, so for the first properties, we will have a linearity properties. Okay, so how these properties work. So let's see. So let's say you have two function, which is ft and gt. Okay. And also you have two constant, which is a and b. Okay. So the Laplace transform of a f t plus b g t is equals to a is a constant. So we factorize it. So you will you will have Laplace of f t plus b is a constant so factorize b then you need to find laplace of gt okay so if you have aft minus bgt then you will have aft minus bgt okay get it so before this we find the Laplace transform of a single function, isn't it? Uh, if you have the if exponential function, then you will have a over s minus a. If you have t is a constant, then you have a over s. So we refer to a single function, okay? But for now, linearity properties, if you have a combination of more than one function, okay? So let's say, you have this one. Your ft is equals to 2t power 4 minus e negative 4t. So as you can see here, this is t function, t to the power of n. And also here, this is exponential function. So you were asked to find the Laplace transform of this function. So the Laplace of ft is equals to Laplace of the whole thing here. Isn't it? So you will have, so 2 is a constant. So by using linearity properties, so you will have 2 Laplace of t to the power of 4 minus Laplace of exponent negative 40 okay so your fs is equals to so here what is your n your n is equals to 4 okay n is equals to 4 so you will have your n factorial is equals to 24 so for the first function here, you will have 2. So this one you will have n factorial. So 4 factorial over s n plus 1, which is equals to 5. Okay. Minus for the second function, this is an exponential function. So what is your a here? Your a is equals to negative 4. So you will have 1 over s minus negative 4. So simplify this one will give you 48 over s to the power of 5 plus, hey, sorry, minus 1 over s plus 4. Okay, so you will have this one. So this is your fs. Okay. In the previous video, we find fs for a single function ft. 
Okay. So now your FT, you involve with more than one function. So linearity means if you have positive or negative sign here. Lah. Okay. So let's take a look at the second example. B. So if your FT is equals to 3 exponent for T minus 6 plus 5 cos 2T. So Laplace of FT is equals to, so 3 is a constant, so factorize it. So you were asked to find Laplace of exponent 4T minus, okay, 6 is a constant, right? So, but you, if you remember in the table of Laplace transform, you have uh, your A here, whereby your A is a constant. So, it's okay if you just proceed with Laplace of 6. Okay. Plus, so 5 here is a constant, so factorize. So, you, you have to find Laplace of cos 2t. Okay. So, here for exponential, your A is equals to 4. Okay, this one for a constant, you know your A is equals to 6. For a trigonometric function here, cos function, your A is equals to 2. Okay, so therefore you will have your Fs is equals to 3, 1 over s minus 4 minus so for a constant here you have you will have a over s so 6 over s plus 5 s over s squared plus a squared your a is equal to 2 so you will have 4 okay so expand this one then you will have 3 over s minus 4 minus 6 over s plus 5s over s squared plus 4. Okay. So this is the answer. Okay. So that's why I told you you have to really master on how to get the Laplace transform of a single function because now when involved with properties you will involve with more than one function so you you have to know by looking at the question you have to know so this one you have to refer to which uh, which function in the table for this one exponential what is the general for fs okay when you have a cos sign what is the general uh, of a cost function okay for you to get your fs okay so uh, the last one if your ft is equals to t plus one q okay this is a critical um the critical one why because as you can see here t plus 1 to the power of n can you find any function here which is similar to what you have here so obviously you don't have anyone that suit this one isn't it you, you can't use this one because this is t to the power of n. But this one you have t plus a value here to hold t power n. Okay. So, how are you going to do to get your fs? Because this one is not in the general form of ft. Okay. So, what you should do first is you have to expand this one. Okay, expand this one. So, here you have power 3. Okay, be careful. 
you cannot simply t to the power of 3 then 3 times t times 1 that is wrong okay that's only works for t for power of 2 okay for square so if you have cube here you can simplify it as t plus 1 squared and another one is t plus 1 okay so expand this one first will give you t squared this one t squared plus why well, you have plus sign here because this is plus okay so 2 times t times 1 is equals to 2t plus 1 squared is equals to 1 if you don't um, familiar with this technique you can just expand it one by one okay by using this one okay and you will end up with this one also so you have t squared plus 2t plus 1 so times by t plus 1 okay be careful this one here you have a 3 function and also this one 2 function so how, you, how are you going to expand this one so this one multiply by this one and this one so every single function have to multiply by both function on the right hand side here and another one is 1 times t this one. okay so we start with the first one so you will have t with t squared times t so you will have t cube plus t squared plus 2t times t will give you 2t squared plus 2t plus next the last one a times t is t plus 1 okay so simplify this one first will give you t cube plus 3t squared plus 3t plus 1 so basically this is your ft so therefore your fs so laplace of ft is equals to so t cube so laplace of t cube so 3 is a constant so we factorize 3 so you will have laplace of t squared again here 3 is a constant so laplace of t and the last one is plus laplace of 1 okay so your fs is equals to so n factorial so 3 factorial is equals to 6 so you will have 6 over s4 plus 3 2 factorial is equal to 2, 2 over s3 plus 3, 1 factorial is, is equal to 1, s2 plus 1 over s. Okay, so expand and simplify this one will give you 6 to the power uh, 6 over s4 plus 6 over s3 plus 3 over s2 plus 1 over s. So you can leave your answer in this one or you can factorize 1 over s okay so we are done with the first properties which is linearity properties so in my next video i will show you the second properties which is first shift properties so this is the simplest one where uh, when we are going to use this linearity properties when you have more than one function okay and you have to factorize a constant okay why you have to factorize a constant because as you can see here in in the table of laplace transform you just have t to the power of n okay isn't it so uh, there's um there's no constant in front here okay so that's why we need to factorize the constant here okay so i hope you can understand this one well
and please try to do the exercise in the um, notes given to you okay so we will proceed with the second properties in the next video thank you guys